everybody this is Janice welcome back to my channel today I'm making a Christmas card Christmas card number two uh, it's the same layout as the one that I made previously where is it this one it's the same layout as this one in the sense that um, again I'm using the papers from the silver and gold, um, but this time I'm using this this one that has the little it looks like cross stitch and these little like looking Christmas tree almost looks like a Christmas sweater that's what I think it looks like um, and then the gold and white striped diagonal stripe. This one's three inches by five and a half. Yeah. And this one is also three inches by five and a half. Only because these were leftovers from when I was making my other project. So I could, to save paper, I could just cut it. Let me see here. And I'm all about if I cut it at one and a half, it'll still, let's do that. And then, you know, hey, save your paper. It's, you know, pricey. Yet, so satisfying, right? <laughs> okay, let's use it this way. Should we use it this way? I don't know. Let's use the sweater side. Okay, let's just make a decision. All right, I'm, I decided. So I'm going to, again, like I did before, right up. let's get the ATG, I've got it right here, back up, always got to have your back up, line it up, then hold, line, line it up, Alright, then I took a piece of emerald of our paper, emerald paper, and I cut a three inch circle and I used my Cricut for it. So again, with the Cricut, you know, you can cut a bunch of them. To stamp, I'm going to flip my Versamat over because there's a spongy side to this. This is great. If you don't have a Versamat, just go ahead and get it because it's, it, I love the cushion that it has. Okay, so you get a very nice impression. Um, even though I've used this stamp before, this is a really detailed stamp. So I want to make sure that my ink adheres well. I'm using Versamark ink, which is the kind of ink you use when you heat emboss. And of course, you need a, a, a heat tool or a heat gun, whatever you want to call it. And then this is the Versamark, and it's clear. So you're not going to see anything because this is just sticky and the embossing powder is going to stick to this ink. Okay, and another thing that's a really good thing to do is to use your embossing buddy and sometimes I completely forget the embossing buddy. Like right now, I mean this is just a comedy of errors in here lately. I can't seem to get my act together, and I don't even see it here. But, I mean, where could it be? I do have the EK Success one, which comes in this handy little tool. Uh, where is that little embossing buddy? It doesn't matter. It looks like a little pillow. You can order it on our website. It's really cheap. But it's really um, handy. And if you don't have either of these, you can use a dryer sheet. But this really works well. And what this does is takes any static or oils from your fingers. Okay. You think, oh, does it really matter? Yeah, it does. Okay. And then I'm going to get a coffee filter. Just a cheap, cheap, everyday kind of coffee filter to catch any excess uh, embossing powder. 
I'm going to get my tweezers just to pick it up. I'm going to stamp. And because it's clear, you can see where you're going, and my head might get in the way. I apologize in advance if it did. And then just really press down. This is very detailed. This stamp, this stamp is. Leo might up here because I see him. He's He's thinking about it. Um, he might not if I do this. I don't think he'll come up here if he hears the racket from that. I just don't want to interrupt right now. It's not a good time to be snuggling with Mama Cat. Alright, I got a fan going here and I need to point it away. Isn't that pretty? Then I'm going to do another one, another sprinkle. So you get a really nice coating. And then, of course, we're going to dump it back in this little uh, Sistema container that holds my embossing powder. I used to get them at the Dollar Tree, and I found that they don't seal well. So, like, when I would turn, like, if it would get on its side, the container, the embossing powder would get everywhere. All right, listen, you, Leo. Let's cover this up so he doesn't step in it because he's coming. When he decides that he wants to come through, he doesn't care. He owns the place. All right, let's see. He's probably going to go away now that I am ready. I'm going to heat now. says oh holy night and this is a solid stamp this time I am using our pigment ink this is from our neutrals pack it comes with 10 colors from our neutrals which is fantastic right although now um, now I'm changing my mind Oh, I hate when that happens. I had an idea and then, yeah, it changed. Never mind that thought. Let's get, I'm going to do something different. Like, how about cranberry? It's a little more traditional. So this is pigment ink, which means that I don't need Versamark because pigment ink is very wet ink. If I were to stamp this and then run my finger through it, it would totally smudge, okay? Because it's a very, very wet ink. So I'm just pouncing it, pouncing it, pouncing it so that I can get an even impression. And, of course, using the Versamat really helps. Make sure you wait for that ink to transfer. And look how nice and solid that stamp image is. Then I'm going to use clear this is clear embossing powder and I'm just going to do it over. Oh, do I not have a spoon for this? What happened? Okay, so watch this. No spoon, no problem. I'll just do it like this. Coat it really well. Then do another coat just for safe measure. One more. Okay, and this is going to get cut out. And now we're going to heat emboss this. you 
can't overdo it. But the more you do it, I mean, you'll probably overdo it a few times until you kind of get the feel for it. So just have your nice little play session. Okay, uh, where's the card? Alright, so this is coming together. And I think I'm going to put this guy, put the wreath down flat. You do it how you want. You can do it any way you want. You can do it many different ways. But I'm going to do this flat just for the sake of making a decision. Even if it's wrong, just make a choice and then do it. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut this out. The banner. I do like the red. Like I said, this is the cranberry and it comes... It comes in one of the sets, because these, these come in sets of ten, where you get all the colors in that family. So, which one is it? I don't remember, but it is the Cranberry. I'd have to look in the catalog. Some things I just haven't committed to memory. And... And there. And then this one, I am going, going to pop this one up. She comes. Say hello, everybody. Use your manners. Say hello. Mona, say hello. Mona cat, say hello. Say hello. No. Oh. She's in a grumpy mood right now because mom is not paying attention to her. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, hello. Hi, baby. Aww. And there we go. Pretty, huh? Simple, pretty. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me finish, all right? So make sure that you visit my website and check out my October party. Place your order and you'll be entered to win. Um the goodies that I showed you. So thanks again for watching. Say bye-bye, Mona. <laughs>